if you're planning on doing a journey up to these mounds all I can suggest bring lots of water that's a long way this river is absolutely so clean it's unreal scenery is breathtaking the path itself will take you uh, from the car park next to the church you go along the valley you go into the woods lovely view of the dam and then it takes you through um, a farmer's field with the sheep and then uh, I think it's 0.6 of a mile it takes you through another wooded area and then it brings you down here to this lovely view and then here we are at the mines Looks like somebody's took off the boards and crept in. It's not looking very stable, like. Oh, lovely fire. There's another room now to the right. I'm not actually going to go in. Now I'll see the back entrance up there. What did I say? Upstairs. Completely gone. You can see there's a room with a door in the back. What did I say? I'm not risking this. I'm assuming this is going to be the front door. Yeah, I'm not even going to look in there. And then we come around the side. What do we find? Thank you. Mind your step. And if this door will be open enough, we must do it, eh? Nope. Looking at all the cobwebs on there, it's been open for a long time. Oh well, at least you can see inside this one. Yeah, let's go around. Go around, go around. I don't know why there's half of a fence and it just stops. Yeah. Oh. So looks like we've got several rooms here. A fire there. Small fire on the second level. It looks like there used to be two levels and the loft. Another fire there, second level, and one on the bottom. And we've also got this little teeny room here. Uh, upstairs windows. Chimney for both the fires. Uh, I take it there used to be a chimney up there at one time. As you can see the rooms are very, very small. Imagine how many people actually lived in here in this tiny, tiny room. It 
so peaceful like Imagine waking up to this view, everyone. Fair do is you've got the ship going down now. Mine's like, but yeah, it's gotta be done. I think in the winter time, this is gonna be like a horrible place to live, like. And don't forget, back in them days, I'm not quite sure where the train lines would have been like. Well, it would have been whole horse and carriage. But looking at this, I can't really see a path for a horse and carriage. But there'll be one here somewhere. Yeah, I'll get with you. That way. Well. At least the rain has stayed off. I came up here yesterday and from the car park I took the wrong turning. I took the path that goes up because there's two paths. There's one that goes down by the lock uh, at the reservoir and there's one on the left. I took the one on the left which goes up into the woods and then take it up there onto the top of the mirrors. Now I just wandered around for hours and hours and hours, absolutely poured down, and I just could not find it at all. So I just turned back and went back to where I'm staying at Redwood Retreat. And yeah, I was absolutely soaked but I was determined to find this place so I looked again on Google and at first I was following this, the path at the said and it went to the farmers well to the farmers entrance sort of thing and it said private no more so luckily there was another path that went off but I wasn't quite sure if I was actually on the right path or not because it's not really that well signposted but I got it here. Now, let's see what this one is. Yep, you little sheepies. Right. Ah, sorry for all the puffing and panting, mate, but. See what lurks in here. Well, at least we've got a seating area. That's nice one. I thought there was a barbecue there, but it's not. Huh. Looks like the old gate. Yeah, that's the old gate. Nice little seating area. It's obviously the roof. A modern roof. I think this has just been created just in case you get that horrible weather and you need a bit of shelter. Yeah, let's see what's in this one. Just don't want anything running out at me. Yeah. Little dry bit for the sheepy. And yes, he's not happy because I'm here, but never mind. Oh, there's a little one. Let's see what's over here. I'm assuming these are. Oh, sorry, just been hit by a moth in the face. I'm assuming these are the actual coming up to the mine entrances. I'm not quite 
sure if I can get in there. I think that's an entrance over there. Well, that's just lying down here. Oh, some sort of... Mm, looks like some sort of shaft drive type thing. Right, do we have a over here? Yeah. Oh, here comes the rain, excellent. I'm quite amazed that there's not many people actually come to this place, I don't think. I know there was two people behind me, but I think they've followed on the opposite path. But it's definitely a good place to come visit, like, as long as you're reasonably fit. Which I don't think I am like. Nice fresh water, straight down into the valley. Well, at least the, the people who used to live here have got fresh water and lots of it. Well, this is the mine entrance. Darkness down there. You can see the water going in. You've got your danger sign there. And right there. This one's a little bit quick because it's absolutely lashing it down. Yep, the good old British weather. And it's just not giving up. So it looks like I'm going to get wet going all the way back. And here we have another mine entrance. All your danger signs. It's 
wonder if anybody's actually attempted to go in these. I wouldn't advise it, like. Definitely not. I can definitely say I've been eaten alive now. Somebody bites us unreal. At least the wind stopped for a bit. How long for? I just do not know.